Hello everybody, I'm Michael, and today I am continuing the series of the Sealed Core 2020 set. Last game, I got two wins in a row, which is just crazy. Ended it off with a pretty insane moment there with top decking a thing that made it so his creature couldn't block my flyer. So it's worked out well. We're at 1,400 gems right now, three packs, two losses. Once again, just like the last video, this could very well be the last episode in the series. But if it is, I will do the pack openings at the end and maybe buy a few packs as well, just depending on how it goes. So let's go ahead and get into this. This has just been a roller coaster of a series. I went one and one the first two episodes and then one two in a row, just pretty crazy there. Hopefully I can do it again here. I've been drawing a Johnny every time. Yeah, we're keeping that. We got a one drop, a two drop, a four drop, and another four drop. Yep, that's good. Hopefully this will go well. So he's got red, which kind of scares me because that's a lot of just direct damage, which I don't really want. Can't attack with that. Actually, yeah, I can't attack with that next turn no matter what I do. I don't have anything with haste. I can give the, the Pegasus flying if I wanted to. That's always fun to do. Confuses people. Alright, so now Angelic Gift is a 1, which is always nice. So he's doing- oh no, not this again. Okay, let's see. Let's just go ahead and get Marauder's Axe out there. That has just helped me out so much here. I'm honestly going to give Starfield Mystic- I've enjoyed Starfield Mystic a lot. He's just been kind of consistent for me recently. Ooh, and I can attack? Yeah, because I wouldn't want to block anyway. We're just going to all attack. He can't do anything. Just go ahead and get some early damage out there. And his deck, I'm sure, isn't based on healing if he's doing red-black. There's not a whole lot of healing in red-black. Which is good for me, I guess. Public Smuggler, what is this? That's new. Target creature. Ooh. Okay, that's fine. Why wouldn't he just attack with that too? Okay, there he is. There's the oops. Kind of weird. Alright, so I'm not sure where to go with this. So I could a Johnny heal myself. Which is always a pretty alright idea. Or I could a Johnny pride mate there but i think i'm gonna go with this and then i have a 3-3 three, three, which is stronger than all of his little twos and then we're just gonna all attack for six so i can get this early game damage that'll just kind of set him back the rest because he loses a life every time he attacks with that maybe i can persuade him not to go and attack there oh what is that oh that's unfortunate oh and i didn't even get my whatever what do i get Plus one, plus one, yeah, because he died too. Dang. Okay, that's fine though. Sure, yeah, do that. Take your life. You're unblockable, that's okay. What does this do? From your graveyard to your hand. Okay. Oh, another one. Okay. Yeah, definitely... I think I'm gonna Johnny here. Hmm. Now this is the thing that I'm wondering about. Do I do the heal? Cause he's gonna be able to Yeah, I'm gonna go for the gonna go for the heal. Uh do I go for the attack though? Because he could kill this. Which would really be annoying. No attack. Yeah. Cause then I'd put the axe on Pegasus probably on it. I I don't even really know where to put axe. If I can get my pride mate out, then I'll definitely put it on pride mate. But ooh, that's a pretty big threat here. I'll probably put it on Pegasus then. Can't oh, but he can't attack or block alone. So that's annoying. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I knew he was gonna do that. That's fine. He takes a life. Okay, so I have five mana here. I get to choose something with this. Phew, I don't know what to do. So I do the minus two, he dies next turn. So we're just going to do the heal. Uh, so I still have five mana. 
don't want to do that. But I have axe. I have six. Oh wait, I can. Oh, I only have five manas worth of stuff to do here. So we're gonna use all five of it. My problem is this. I don't know where I want to put. I should have done this earlier. Oh, that was dumb. Okay, I don't know where to put axe. Is my thing now. I'm not sure. I'm gonna put axe on the soldier. Alright, so I'm gonna put that on the soldier there. Just probably my best bet. Ooh, I don't like that. That's a flying thing. I liked it when he didn't have flying. I guess I can just keep healing up here, but I gotta get rid of that. Hopefully I can top deck treason. Nope. Okay, definitely could not do that. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna go for the, the heal here. It's definitely my best play. Six life. I don't even know what to choose. Okay, plus one, plus one. Pegasus. We're gonna go with Pegasus. Cause is he gonna no he can't do anything. What is he? Is Pegasus on here? There's Pegasus. Yes. Cool. I guess I can do that too. There's no more Pegasus in my deck, so that's really disappointing. <laughs> but that's it. Ooh. Oh no, Chandra, there you go. Okay. Whenever it attacks, it deals four damage to any target and three damage to up to two targets. That's really stupid. Okay. No attack. I can easily kill that. That's really annoying to me. I just, I don't like that whatsoever. It's not even... It's whenever it attacks. That's just crazy. I wish it was whenever it deals damage. Because that would be different. And you're going to kill my Pegasus, aren't you? I think this might be my last game. That card's just too crazy. Yep. And there you go. All of my strong cards and a Johnny. I fought my yep. yep, yep. Should have attacked last turn. Sacrifice an artifact, okay. Uh, yeah, this isn't going well. Well, I think this is my last game here. That is really unfortunate. Dang, that's just such a good card. I didn't have any removal for him. I'm just going to attack with everything, see what happens. Because if I just stay here and defend, I'll die next turn anyway. So, let's just attack. If he doesn't block anything, he dies. So maybe he'll just not block. Oh, nope. Okay, that's sad. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, but I'll kill two of his things. That's fine. Eh, this has been a pretty fun draft. I got farther than I thought I would, especially not knowing any of these cards, never playing with them. Okay. No, what are you doing? Yeah, you should have done that. Good idea. No, what are you doing now? He's so indecisive about what he wants to do here. It's weird. Okay, there you go. There you go, next to damage, cool. He confirmed his blockers. Ooh, I got rid of one of his things. Oh, here we go, let's do this. Yeah, look for all those Pegasus that don't exist in my deck, cool. Come on, dude. Maybe I'll draw a crazy board wipe that I don't have in my deck next turn. That would be would do pretty good. That's not gonna happen though. I wonder if he gets to do a lot. Okay. So let's see. Let's see how much damage he can do. Cause does that mean he can just do ten damage from this card? Seventeen damage from that card alone? Is that what that means? Up to two other. Tar oh, okay. Can only do four because it's other target. That's. Why didn't you attack with that? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna concede because. You could have killed me, but you chose not to. Okay. That was a pretty good run. So let's see if we can get our rewards now. Click on that. 
claim prize. Yay. Three packs and 1,400 gems. Amazing. All right, so we're going to open up our packs for the last part. Actually, I might go buy another pack, too. Oh, there's the infamous Silverback Shaman. Some raise the alarm. That's kind of cool. Legendary artifact creature. Yeah, definitely let me get, uh, know in the comment, guys, about decks that you guys are using if you guys are playing this game. Because definitely looking for some good suggestions. I've been looking on the internet a little bit, but just can't find anything that looks super interesting. Upkeep. Discard a card. Ooh, I don't like that at all, but... Three mana, seven, six? Okay, that's pretty good. All right, let's go to the store. Look at packs. Yeah, see, 3,400 gems. I, yeah, I can't afford that. Uh, let's see. Packs, perfect. I could buy six packs, but we're going to buy three. Yeah, let's just get three. That'll be good. Get some more for Core 2020 here. All right, let's see, let's see. That's a really cool looking card art. That's really expensive though, so probably not gonna use that. Hey, it's kind of cool seeing that we're getting some of those cards that we used in the standard deck anyway. Oh, there's Glaring Aegis. Never got it, but it was in the deck. Dungeon Geists. That's a really cool looking card. I just think all the cards are cool looking. Sorry if I just keep saying that they look cool. I just think all the art's amazing. And, okay, that's nice. So, let's see what we have now. 17 commons, 11 uncommons, 3 rares, and 2 mythic rares. 2 mythic rares is pretty good. I'd make some cool decks with that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the series. I did a lot better than I thought I was going to. Glad to do that. Maybe I'll eventually do some more. Not right away, because obviously it did cost a little bit of money to do that. So, I don't want to do that pretty often. But I'm glad if you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well as comment any questions or what decks or anything you may have. And I'll see you later.